Hello everyone, I'm Alex from Shine Electronic Solutions and today we're gonna talk about the kill switch module. How does it work and simple functions. Alright, let's say we were driving and we plan to park in a place it's not safe. So we're gonna use the kill switch. We turn off the motor and my suggestion will be remove all the items inside the car whatever you're gonna take with you before to remove the USB key as soon as you remove the USB key you're gonna have a window of 30 seconds when the 30 seconds run out all the function of the car will be disabled. My recommendation is remove the USB key and lock the car with the OEM key file or the best way is comfortable with you. Remember as long as you are in that 30 second window you can lock or unlock the car of the same way you used to do before to have the kill switch module. Okay, now we're gonna pretend we're coming back from shopping and we're gonna go back to our car. So as you can see, the car is locked and the only way to unlock the car are two ways. One way will be with the OEM key, which is inserted inside in the OEM key fob. Or you can use one of the coolest feature, the kill switch fob. This fob allows to open the driver door as you can see, the rest of the door remain locked. You can push any button, either way. Button number one or button number two does the same function. The other thing we notice, all the function of the car are disabled. So none of the function will work until we plug back the USB key. Notice if you have any device plugged into the OBD2 port, this device won't work until you plug back the USB key. Alright, let's do it one more time. Let's remove the USB key. Now we're gonna lock the car the same way we used to do when the kill switch wasn't installed. So we're gonna use the OEM key fob, we lock the car, and we're gonna make sure everything's good to go. So we're gonna wait for 30 seconds and then we're gonna try to unlock the car. So driver door is locked. And then we're gonna use the fog from the kill switch. We can press any button for unlock the car. Something that might happen as soon as you plug back the USB key in, probably the alarm go off. In order to prevent that, what you could do is, soon as you plug back the USB key, just hit the button unlock on the OEM key fob. That will prevent from the alarm to go off. Other thing we can notice, the gauge cluster has a memory. 
so when the kill switch is working, that memory probably is lost. What it does is memorize the last gauge you set up on your gauge cluster. You're gonna notice it go back to the OEM settings. The last thing we notice is the mileage range is default to zero. I hope you all enjoyed this video. See you soon. Thanks for watching.